Hey CTE family, I came outside for our first art lesson. Um, so welcome to a visual art lesson you can do at home. For today's lesson, you're gonna need some crayons, got mine right here, and you're gonna need some paper. Pause the video now, go grab your supplies. I'll explain what to do with them when you get back. Welcome back. When we think about the visual arts, there's a lot of different elements that we think about. Color, form, line, space, perspective, and texture. Today, I wanna to get you thinking about texture and exploring texture in the world around you. Texture is a word that we use to talk about how something feels. For example, the trees behind me. You could probably see their, their texture looks kind of pokey and well, they are. Maybe your favorite stuffed animal or blanket has a soft or fluffy texture. A square of sandpaper has a really coarse texture and jello has a slimy texture. You get the idea. For visual artists, texture is sometimes something that our audience gets to experience with their hands or with their bodies, but a lot of the time we're showing texture rather than feeling it. We use shapes, patterns, or other things to make people think about a certain texture when they see our work. That's pretty cool when you think about it. Have you ever seen a painting or a drawing or some other art that, and you could imagine what it must feel like even if you couldn't see it? Well, since texture is something that already exists in the real world, we can also use that texture in the real world to create art itself. And that's what I want you to do for your first art practice. I want you to grab your paper and I want you to grab your crayons. And if you don't have crayons, you could also do this with chalk or with pastels or even with a pencil if you need to. But you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna go either inside or outside, whatever makes the most sense for you. And you're gonna look for things that have interesting texture on them. When you find something with an interesting texture, you're gonna lay your paper on top of it, grab your crayon, take the, take the paper wrapper off, and make a rubbing. You've probably done this before at school or in other places, and for today, all I want you to do is to go around and find different textures. You might so, my helpers and I have come outside to, um, to try some of these rubbings out. We've got our box of naked crayons right here, Got our big piece of paper, and we're trying out a rubbing on our sidewalk. What would be a good color to rub? I'm gonna try blue, because I think it will show up nice. So, I take the blue, and I'm gonna rub it. Whoa, and I get this really cool dots that are pretty far spread out. This is a really neat pattern, but I think, and then we tried some earlier, you can see them over here. These ones are finer dots because we tried them on a different surface. So we're gonna go experiment around and try a bunch of colors and a bunch of textures all around our yard. You might find that some textures um, look the same no matter what color you use on them. Um, but other textures may look different depending on what colors you use. For example, it's a little hard to see on my paper but I did one earlier. And I'll hold it up here in case you can see it. And the texture that I did, as I did it with my dark blue marker, it looked one way, but as I did it with the green marker, it had a whole different feeling to it. So try different colors on the same texture if you want. You might also try rubbing your crayon in different directions. For some of my textures, I rubbed across um, the object. And for the others, I rubbed along the object. And especially if you're rubbing along wood or something else with kind of a, a line to its texture, that could be really interesting to explore. I also tried taking some things from nature that were a little hard to rub on top of, like these trees here, and I took a, a leaf or a branch and I laid that on a flat surface to get the texture of that. But your task today really is to just go and experience and find textures, try some different things. Fill your whole paper with texture and with color, with the rubbings that you're creating. In fact, you could fill multiple pieces of paper. I have an idea for a lesson later on where we can use these textures to create a whole new piece of art. So get out there, explore some textures, and show us what you've come up with. Take a picture of your texture filled paper, upload it to social media with a grown up's permission if you're a kid, and tag us in it. We're on Instagram at uh, CTE Olympia and we're on Facebook as well. So look for us, share with us, show us what you've been creating, and I'll see you in the next video with another art lesson.